everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and this is the latest mouse from Cooler Master's CM Storm gaming line. And it is, of course, the CM Storm Recon gaming mouse. You can see the table specifications here at the back. And uh, see when you flip it open, you get a preview of it so that you can see what it looks like and uh, get a sense of how big it is when you see it in the stores. And uh, let's just start opening it so we can take a look at the features. Instead of just reading the box there. The package is of course similar to other black, red, and white CM Storm gaming products. And uh, of course this is a much requested mouse from the CM Storm line as uh, they had the last two ones were the CM Storm Zornet and the CM Storm Spawn which were uh, for claw grip users. This is of course a new ambidextrous design. We'll pull it out. Sure the box is empty. You get the documentation with the warranty information and a quick start guide in multiple languages. It's not fold out, it is actually a booklet. Also some more uh, advertising in there. It shows you that the warranty is two years for CM Storm mice. Inside and uh, sense of the size of the mouse itself. It actually measures 64.4 by 116.4 and 42 millimeters. And uh, you can see the ambidextrous design and the most of the body is actually has that uh, rubber coverage as you see in um, and um, you've actually seen it not just in mice but in uh, some of Cooler Master's cases. This here's some Trooper top. It's kind of like that. Like uh, it, it has the that enhanced grip uh, texture while the side is uh, it's not it's not too rubbery but this actually the surface is similar to the uh, keyboard the CM Storm Quickfire Rapid but this it's not rubbery but there is a bit of uh, faint of soft texture in there you can see the side buttons the forward and backward buttons and also since it is an ambidextrous mice you also get uh, the forward and backward button on the other side as well. You can see at the top you have the DPI switch. Uh, I, I believe the DPI switch for here is actually for switching the four of the profiles. We'll see later once we take a look at the software and what actually entails the these button switches. As you can see they also have LEDs. So there are three LED options. You have the Samsung logo right at the bottom the DPI switch and the scroll wheel which we will see later. The scroll wheel is thicker although it's not as uh, as heavy as I, I, I thought it would be since it is quite rugged looking but it's actually uh, it's a little bit smoother actually smoother than I thought it would be and also uh, looks like CM Storm uh, listened to the uh, users and the cable here is not as thick as the CM Storm spawn it is definitely lighter as well and let me just pull it out so you can see what it looks like it has that uh, USB connector USB 2.0 here at the end it's gold but gold doesn't really uh, help with the connectivity well, this is actually very difficult to remove so I'll just leave it on you can just take my word for it that it is a USB 2.0 connection it is uh, surprisingly uh, difficult to remove for the first time there we go and uh, the cable length maximum is, I think, uh, 1.8 meters. So that's 78.6 inches. That's uh, so more than enough for most people. So it's significantly long and has that, uh, let's see if it has that anti fraying protection as well on the end. So that is uh, very cool that Cool Master actually listened. And while we're here, you can see at the bottom you have the Teflon feet and the Avego 3090 sensor in the middle which is uh, the same as the CM Storm Spawn and of course this we will see how this implementation works here uh, once we take a look at the software later and see uh, and test out the features whether the uh, the lift off distance is indeed uh, lower on the fir latest firmware we're going to download the latest firmware and the latest software from Cooler Master's website test it out and uh, let me just put this aside um, because this is not just a simple mouse unboxing, I am also going to check out the new CM Storm Scorpion Mouse Bungee 
which is also released uh, at the same time as the CM Storm Recon. In case you're not familiar, of course, uh, a bungee for the mouse is uh, there to help you manage your cables, especially uh, for those who are, who are kind of annoyed when you have a, a very cluttered desk and uh, when you're gaming, you kind of need uh, as little distractions as possible and the last thing you need is for your cable to snag somewhere. And that's what the mouse bungee does. It actually, let's uh, open this up. Allow you to uh, manage your cables and see what the, the documentation looks like. It has the, uh, let's see if there's a warranty information here. Uh, it doesn't say, but uh, it is. looks like it's a simple item. It's not really, it's not really a complicated item. So it shouldn't, uh, unless it actually is physically damaged when it came out of the factory, then uh, I'm guessing uh, the, uh, the warranty should at least be a year for something like this. And let's check out what is in there. I, of course, I'll update the the video if uh, it is indeed more than one year warranty for this product. Okay, so it looks like it has a very unique looking design. That the top is flexible. Is rubber and it has an iron core in the middle. Of course, you need it to be uh, to be weighted down so that it can actually manage your mice cables. You can easily detach these legs just by pulling it out, as you can see there. Of course, you're going to need to uh, you need the scorpion to be smaller when you're transporting it. Easily removable. The edges have uh, rubber, so they have extra grip, so it doesn't move around when you. Uh, when you have it in place, and of course, easily assembled again whenever you need it. And the bungee placed there. Now, this is actually uh, had, kind of carries an MSRP of uh, $19.99. Uh, although, I would have preferred if they, they could have actually. Uh, have added probably more features on it, maybe a, a, a more cable management features, and so you can route your, your other cables in there. Also, maybe a, a, a as a USB hub, and offered it as a thirty dollar item. I would have, I would have liked that. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's a simple device. It is a bungee. Since this was a double unboxing, let's uh, might as well make it a triple unboxing before we test out the CM Storm Recon gaming mouse with a bungee. Let's uh, open up the CM Storm Speed RX. Gaming mouse, I can see that uh, it has a surface sample there. It's not a, a see-through or an open box where you can actually feel the surface. This is uh, actually a, uh, an actual piece of the surface there that you can feel uh, on the top, so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, unlike other uh, other mouse surfaces where where you can uh, you can touch through the inside surface and. Uh, so here you have this is the RX L version, which is uh, I'm guessing their largest, unless they have an XL. And uh, let's open it up. See that it is quite big and smooth surface. So just uh, move the camera here. You can see the entire surface. Also, just uh, dim the lights a bit so you can see. I'm going to put the CM Storm Recon. Might as well plug it in. See what it looks like with the LED on and uh, put it on the CM Storm Scorpion Mouse Bungee. All right, as you can see, we have our CM Storm Recon here on the CM Storm Speed RX L mouse surface, and of course, it has that uh, smooth nanofiber uh, cloth surface, and underneath it has uh, kind of like a rubber surface. It is about five millimeters thick. It's not too thick, but uh, I think 5 millimeters is the average for most mice, and it has that CM Storm logo right there on the corner. And in terms of size, it is uh, 450 by 350 millimeters. 
and uh, see there that I have the uh, Seamstorm Recon with using the uh, Seamstorm Bungee Scorpion. That is, uh, you, you need to give it a little bit of slack as you can see there if the cable is a little too uh, too tight and uh, it doesn't have uh, more room for the for the mouse it actually can lift up the, the tail end of that bungee so we want to give it a little bit more room or maybe position it closer because it's a little bit out of the way and as you can see that it does flex when it's moving and uh, see there let's uh, let's measure how heavy this mouse is this is uh, without the cable Let's take our weight here. We set the weight. This is about 105 grams. So it's actually heavier than the uh, seems from Zornet in comparison. This is actually, uh, I believe, just under 184, 86 grams. Seems from Zornet. And uh, if you want to see the comparison in size, side by side. You like that the uh, the claw grip CM Storm Zornet and the CM Storm Spawn s share the same body so they're essentially the same see that it is smaller but the uh, I thought the CM Storm Recon would be bigger but it's actually a regular sized mouse although it is taller as you can see there on the side profile. In terms of uh, the the buttons accessibility when you place your hand in a uh, Typical ponger like this. See if you have uh, that the uh, back and forth buttons are not uh, easily pressed because you can. There's room to rest your thumb right there at the bottom. Similarly, although uh, if you're worried, probably that you can probably hit it with your ring finger here on the other side, so you have to be careful with that. Or you probably it's better if you just uh, disable the uh, left and right button if you are right-handed, or disable the left and right button here uh, if you are left-handed on the other side, so you don't you don't accidentally press them if you're not using it. Also, you have the profiles here. You can shift through the the colors and the presets that are in there by pressing that. In each of the profile, I believe there are four or five profiles. We'll take a look at the software a little bit after this. Has a color representing it. And you can also change the behavior of the LED. Here at the bottom, you have the sensor right in the middle, the Avego 3090 optical sensor right in the middle. So as you do now, you should take a look at the software, install the latest firmware, and see how well the CM Storm Recon performs in terms of uh, lift off distance. There should be an on and off switch for that, and, and an angle snapping on and off switch as well, similar to the CM Storm Spawn in the software itself. So let's go into that now.